just wanted to take you on a little tour of my garden here. This is uh, the beginning of May 2020. The sun is just coming up. You can see uh, here's here's some of my starter plants. These are pinto beans grown from seed, very easy. Another tomato. This is actually a mandarin tree I grew from seed, from my mandarin tangerine tree. Another tomato variety. So I have about six varieties of tomatoes. Um, this is a jackfruit actually, from growing from seed. These are the carrots. I believe those are the uh, Atomic Red, or these are the Atomic Red. Those are the Cosmic Purple. Down here, these are Kentucky Pole Beans. They seem to be doing really well. Some more carrots with pole beans. Four different types of carrots growing here. Four different types of tomatoes. I'll probably end up transplanting some of these that are getting too big to my front yard garden. You can see that one in a five gallon. It might be a little small. This one's bigger. That can handle the tomato plant a little better. strawberries underneath. This one's called the Celebrity Tomato. It's looking really good. This is the big boy. It's growing very quickly. It's only been a couple weeks in here. Very healthy. Look how healthy all of these tomatoes look. This is what you want your tomatoes um, to be looking like. They almost look lime green, where you can kind of see that lime color. That means they're growing really healthy and fast. It's kind of what you want to be looking for. This is actually a darker color because um, the fruit is actually darker. Black prints. So the leaf matter is actually darker, but you can see how, how healthy this looks as well. Also, if you want to fertilize these, go ahead and just um, flick. You want to kind of go like this, just rub these together a little bit. Kind of go like that. So you're kind of spreading the pollen, and that will help um, assure you they're getting, they're pollinated. So it's a little trick, you can do it in different ways, like um, some people will use a toothbrush, and kind of like a vibrating toothbrush. So these are already forming fruit on this one. I might transplant this one as well. These are the patio tomato. And these things are really fat and stocky. Look at the trunks on these already. You can see that those are just massive, stocky plant already. They're short and stocky and fat. It's good for small, small spaces. Again, there's the flower. Kind of uh, helps spread that pollen. When those flowers come out, that'll help uh, you get more fruit. But this is how your plants should be looking this time of year. Uh, they should already be looking healthy, green, fresh new growth coming out the top. Yeah, you can tell how healthy these things are. So they were, they're really liking my soil mixture. You guys can go back and watch um, how I made the soil mix called a super soil, how to make super soil mix. Take a look at these cucumbers are doing great. Two different types of cucumbers down here. 
lemon cucumber and the Japanese cucumber. They're really starting to take off. Look really healthy. Snap peas are looking really healthy. I love how, watching these, just how they kind of grab a hold. It's fun watching them grow. You can also help them, help them along. They'll grab a hold. They got like these little, little arms. So if one stragglers are coming out, you can kind of just bring them up, like help them along a little bit. But they'll usually, they have something to grab a, a hold of, they will do it. I got one over here, check this out. I put one right against the tree, look how good it's doing. It's gonna grow right up this tree. These snap peas can take a little shade, so if you have a tree trunk, you can grow it right up the bottom. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you just here in my, my backyard. This is a little starry area. I did a video on cloning tomatoes Here's the clone I did like a week ago. Look how healthy that looks. Didn't phase it at all. Already rooted. So watch my video on cloning. Um, the cat just jumped. Growing onions here from an onion that was just sitting in my fridge. So, I'm check the front out, but I have garlic growing in the front, carrots. Garlic I grew from seed, onion here, so we got everything. Let's do a quick check of the front. All right, I already harvest a lot of carrots in here, but I, you can see I still have quite a bit to harvest. I also made some spicy, hot, uh, Mexican-style carrots. And I'm doing a video on that. You guys can watch that. I'll put a link. Look at all those carrots in there. Got a big bunch right here to harvest down here, a bunch back here. I'll probably plant um, some of my tomato plants up here since I, my carrots are harvested and I have so much space left. Look over here, I wanna show you how big this is. These carrots, look how big this one is right here. That one's, that one's like two inches wide. Jeez, maybe I should pull that one out. Oh gosh. Look at that. That's a short stalk of that one. That one. Things like two inches wide at the base. Look how dark that is. So we'll take that. Oh man, it's all tangled up. We'll nibble on these today. A little snack. Breakfast. Good for your vision. Papaya, I might could even be picking a papaya pretty soon. Looks like these are starting to turn yellow. We've got these giant papayas. Once they start turning, it's a good sign. It looks like slightly starting to get a little coloring. So I should be picking this one and this one in the next few weeks. Massive amount of fruit there. I'm in mandarin tree I have here as well. Starting to flower. It's kind of getting overtaken by the giant, massive, eight-inch trunk of this papaya tree that I planted just two years ago. This thing's growing like crazy in my compost pile. Dug down four feet, composted this hole for a long time. Now these things are growing like crazy. I can't believe how big this thing is. All right, folks, that's... That's the front area. Oh, here's my compost hole. I've been burying food scraps. You guys can watch a video on how I've uh, been burying food scraps every month. I, I bury them in here, so check out that video. There's a tomato growing by itself. I didn't even plant that one. Tomatoes like to grow by themselves very easily, especially if you bury them in a the compost. Oh, I wanted to show you this. So I grew these right from the refrigerator. Pop some fresh garlic out, and uh, this is what you get a few weeks later. So stay tuned for that when you harvest these. So as soon as you get your beds 
harvested, make sure you have something to put in its place. So as soon as I took these carrots out, I had something to, to fill it in. You don't want to ever leave empty space. And when you do, try to sprinkle around something to keep it from drying up. So I got my extra carrot leaf matter here. And I'm just gonna spread it around. I'll get more of this, but that's gonna insulate it. When that sun comes out, that hot sun today, you're gonna want like a blanket around that soil. So it's very important, especially if you're not gonna be around. A lot of people don't do this, but so save all that old leaf matter from those carrots and all of your plants. Get a nice inch or two layer and your plants are really gonna like it. You'll save a lot of water too. All right, that's it for the front yard. Look at that. I think it's the atomic red or the cosmic purple carrot, I believe. Those colors are just amazing though. Isn't that? Take a bite of it. Wow, it's got a nice flavor. Take a look at the, these peaches over here. I'm gonna show you how many peaches we have. Massive amount of peaches in here. Everywhere you look, peaches. So I'll be eating a lot over the next uh, couple weeks here. These ones aren't ripe yet here. They're just starting to starting to ripen. And everywhere you look, there's there's just solid peaches. And this is the uh, Florida Prince peach. See right here, these ones are real close. I like to get them when they're a little a little bit hard still. These are still a little firm. Not gonna pick those yet. On the south facing side of the tree, you're gonna be able to pick fruit first because it's getting more sun, so it ripens quicker. I have so many, what I did is I have sticks holding it up. I have a big stick right here holding up a branch. This is also holding up the branch, the stick here. Tied it off so a lot of that weight will be supported. So I'm literally right here at the beach growing massive amount of peaches. Right here in San Diego is known 10 B. So I don't know if you've seen this many peaches growing here, but oh, there's a soft one right there. So you just gotta hunt, twist. So I'll be eating a lot of these. Probably in the next couple of days, I'm gonna have to eat like 10 a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and bite, eat another one of these. So just keep looking around until you get a, some soft. They're literally just so many packed in here, I just don't know which one to choose from. Oh, there's another one. I gotta get this one off. So I'm just gonna keep on picking away here. Let's watch the sunset. Nice day. All right, we'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go ahead and snack on these. Don't forget to subscribe, click like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.